Hey, man, you, you know I'm always here for you, man. You know, you know, you're a good guy. I'm always here for you. I'm always here for you, man. Just, just want you to know that. You know what I mean? I'm, uh, I'm always your friend. I will do my best. I'm going to make changes. But until then, if you don't need me, I'll do my own thing. And when you want me to come back, let me know, and I'll, I'll make arrangements. But that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it about Austin, okay? But I just want to get that message out there. I mean, I could text him, too, but, you know, I'm ready to get out there. And, uh, yeah. So, I appreciate the $9, bro. Appreciate the $9. Hi, guys. Um, so, today, I'm using a mic to record the audio because someone had said that the sound level was too low on my other video. Uh, and hopefully this will help but the mic sometimes make me sound as if I am covering my mouth so let me know how the the, uh, the sound how the audio is on this uh, video and I want to say one more thing I truly appreciate the feedback because that is how I will improve so anyways yeah so I was watching uh, Floyd's video of a live stream yesterday and in the live stream he <laughs> It was so pathetic because he is begging Austin to take him back. He is, you know, he is basically, he told Austin that, you know, he will, he will be there for Austin. He will, you know, wherever Austin wants to meet uh, Floyd, there will be Floyd. He said he would even return back to uh, Argentina, the, the, the country that was so racist that he had to leave even like in less than 48 hours but he said if Aston wanted him there he would be there if you're watching this buddy I want to come back we need to meet up again bro. look I want to be able to and if you need me to hear thing often and I, I want you to listen to me listen to me as much as I don't want to go back to Argentina if you need me to come back to Argentina Okay, if you if you need me to come back to Argentina, I will come back. Okay, I will come back as much as I don't want to. Okay, I don't, I don't. I gave it a second chance. I don't want to come back to Argentina. I really don't want to. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't, I don't want to go back to Argentina. But if you need me there, and you say you need a wingman. Either in Argentina or your Glay or Paraguay, whatever country you want me to come to, I will come there because I I really really care about you, and you know I'm doing all this for you, but I'm doing all of this for you. I'm trying to change my ways for you because something happened, and we need I need, and I am probably at fault, and I'm going to change my ways for you. Give me time. Give me time. You know, it's gonna take. It's gonna be. Give me like a month or two. All right. Let me work on myself. I will be a better man, and you will appreciate it. You will appreciate it for. And if that happens after that, at least I tried. And that's really all I can do is try. I really. Me and Austin is cool, but we all need our space. Edna, Edna, Edna was so so pathetic. Like basically begging Austin to take him back. But Telling Aston, you know, wherever Aston wants is Floyd, Floyd will be there. If Aston wants Floyd in Colombia, he will be there in Colombia. It was so pathetic to watch, so pathetic. Um, and <laughs> it is so sad because I know that Aston, well, Floyd doesn't want to be with Aston because Aston, Floyd la lived with Aston for a few uh, weeks and he realized that Aston is not a really nice person to be around with. Uh, yeah, Aston probably has this, you know, superficial charisma. Before you meet him, he might he might look like a nice person, but once you meet him and start living with him, you realize, you know, he's not really a good person to be around. And so, you know, and with uh, Floyd, Floyd, when he was in uh, living with Aston in Romania in and Poland, it was obvious that Floyd was miserable. He didn't want to be with Aston. And, he, you know, he had, whenever he got the first excuse uh, to leave Aston, he left him. Uh, he left Aston in, in uh, Argentina. 
But now he wants his uh, he's begging Aston to take him back. I'm like, you broke up with him. You you're supposed to be you know, running away from him, but now you are here begging Aston to take you back, begging Aston to you know to have you. I'm like, oh my god, it is so sad. But you know, wait. By the way, I think um, part of it is because I I it, it's because of people like me because I have said that you know um. Aston, uh, Floyd broke up with Aston. Floyd uh, dumped Aston. Floyd is, you know, uh, uh, escaping from Aston. But Floyd doesn't doesn't want that kind of uh, claim to be, you know, to he wants to disprove that, right? He wants to disprove people like me. He wants to make it look like, you know, he is still okay with Aston. He, that the only reason he left was because of racism. So he is trying to disprove uh, people like me. So he is, I mean, I'm like, uh, and you could not blame him, right? Because if, you know, people start to think that, you know, Floyd left Aston because Aston was a bad person, that's not good for Floyd, right? Because these two people live in the passport community, uh, passport bro community. And the passport bro community, um, as you observe it more and more, you realize the closed community. It is a community where um, they do not tolerate divergent views, especially when it comes, and they do not um, tolerate any, uh, even slight criticism of their leaders. Um, so, in the passport community, uh, Aston is, you know, um, a leader, right? one of the leaders, right? He is a person with with power, with whatever, you know, limited power it might be. It, he has power. And the passport community doesn't allow you to criticize people like Aston. Well, or, I mean, if you are, if you want to stay being part of that community. So Floyd, of course, has to make sure that, you know, people do not think he has he has anything negative um, to say about Aston or anything negative. He doesn't have any negative opinion about Aston. That's what Floyd wants people to know to to think, right? Because if he if it was to be if he were if it was to if people were to think that Floyd doesn't like Aston, you know, Floyd knows that he will be kicked out of that uh, passport bro community, and that's not something he wants to do, right? Because I have the uh, Floyd for Floyd, the passport community is not just a community, you know, of travelers. It's almost like you know his family, right? So he he wants to stay in good um, in good standing in that community. So of course we know that you know that's why he is uh, begging Aston to take him back. And the the sad and pathetic part is, <laughs> he said he will start brushing his teeth, you know, keeping good personal hygiene to impress Aston. And I'm like, oh my God, this is so hard to watch. Imagine, Floyd is an adult, and he is saying that he is going to start brushing his teeth, not because you know you're supposed to keep good oral uh, hygiene, just but because he wants to impress another, uh, you know, another man. He wants to impress another person, and I'm like, and this tells you, I mean, this man thinks that um, keeping good person, basic personal hygiene, is something extra, like something you do to impress people instead of something you do to, you know, to to keep yourself healthy, to you know, because good personal hygiene is good for you it's not for other people it's not something you do to impress other people so anyway these people are just so it's so kind of pathetic that he is out begging Aston to take him back anyways um I decided to make this short video I mean it's a short video by the standard by my standard and um, but to see how I sound let me know what how the volume is how the sound is do I sound muffled um, and that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.